I feel like this R coding paper might be my complete letdown as well. We had a full on Bridgerton marathon last night when I should have just been focusing on my work. I wish I had more time before the exam. <laughs> Welcome back to actuarial exam season. Before we dive into all the revision and last minute exam prep, I'd like to introduce the sponsor of today's video, which is Opera. Opera browser is a browser for any device and I've recently switched to Opera as my default browser. This is my homepage, pink and purple. Would you expect anything less from me? Let's search something up in the Google taskbar. I have got my messenger apps linked up in the sidebar. For example, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger. I've also got Instagram linked up, so I definitely will not be losing contact with the world anytime soon. The other thing you can link up is your music. I've got my Spotify logged in, which I normally use if I'm listening to music while studying. Play a bit of classical Disney, Beauty and the Beast. And let's go into the really unique and cool feature of Opera, which is their pin boards. Pin boards is a space where you can save down notes, links, pictures, files. This pin board's called Study. I've got the ACTED website listed, who are the company who supply my study materials. I've taken a screenshot of the September 2022 exam timetable. In the next sitting in September, I'm actually planning on taking CM2. I can easily take a screen snap click add to pin boards, choose my pin board that study, click add. And that is pretty much everything I wanted to show you. Go download Opera, I really recommend it. You can click the link in the description box below. I've also left a link to my study pin board so you can see the sort of thing you can create. And that is it, let's get on with the study. It's another day of studying and I'm just getting myself a cup of tea and a sweet treat because I deserve it for all the hard work I am putting in. I had the sweetest thing come in the post yesterday. So my rowing crew sent me this little package, came with a little cute note saying, Dear Paige, good luck with your revision, smash those exams. And apparently this is a mini egg brownie from this little independent bakery. It's so nice of them. I'm taking some time off from coxing with them at the moment just to focus on my exams, but I'm really looking forward to getting back to it afterwards. Look at this. Is this not the stuff of dreams? I'm gonna grab myself a little morsel and have it with my tea. Another day, another co-op trip. It's actually really nice to get outside. I should have gone out for a walk earlier today. I feel so much better. I was beginning to feel a little bit stressed and unhappy about my revision circumstances. Yeah, I feel a lot better now. Just got myself a ready meal. Okay, everyone, I'm back in my little study space. Um, got my food in front of me, just heated up a ready meal. We have it. It's chicken tikka masala, but the co-op irresistible range. I don't normally go for the co-op irresistible range. I go for the co-op bargain value for money range, but I also really like the clearance rack. So I got this for a pound or a bargain. And I thought, let's try it out. It does look good, but my first observation is that the portion size is definitely smaller than the basic chicken tikka masala. I'm hoping it's, it's quality, even if it's not quantity. Oh, the other thing I meant to mention is that it took longer in the microwave, a longer time to wait for my dinner. I think it's a bit spicier than the basic version, which I don't mind because the basic version is very mild. And I, I think it does taste better. Okay, it does taste better. I would buy it again, I think. The parents are here! The dog is here! Hello, Buster. What day is it today? Good Friday? The mother has made... Vanilla buns. It's a delivery. To keep her going with her studies. Yeah, well, really I can't believe she hasn't delivered these sooner. 
<laughs> my exam started like last week and where were the vanilla buns then you know my auntie is also here my wonderful ak she's going out with my parents to the shops and they've been helping me out today doing my laundry cleaning the house it's nice to see family even if i'm spending most of the day revising while they're here yeah i had a bit of a sad easter weekend really having to revise what i would rather be out in the sun the weather is so good this weekend my parents and auntie are actually staying a couple of days though they've arrived today they're leaving on sunday they're staying not far from where i live i believe i'm gonna go for dinner with them and everything in the evenings which will be nice but the plan is to just spend most of the days just revising and they're helping out with all the other life stuff that i am not on top of things like buying me a suitcase because i'm going on holiday straight after exams and i don't have a suitcase to put my stuff in it is an empty house though apart from that because all of my housemates have left for easter so the whole house is mine for a few days a few days of peace <laughs> i'm like half panicking about this exam now just because I feel like I haven't focused enough. Yesterday, I started watching the second series of Bridgerton on Netflix, and I got a little bit addictive and watched like five episodes in a row. <laughs> and the episodes are one hour long. So we had a full on Bridgerton marathon last night when I should have just been focusing on my work. Sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit self-destructive when I do that. It's like, I know I have exams. I know I don't know all of the content yet, but hey, let's watch Bridgerton instead of actually learning it. <laughs> but it does mean I've hit today with a new level of determination. I've got four days, including today, to fully prepare myself for my next exam. Hello. You need stretching we've come out for dinner. We've just finished dinner actually. I did bring revision notes but I haven't looked at them over dinner. So yeah the plan is to go home and finish a class paper though. Smart than wait you everyone. <laughs> Hi everyone it is 20 past midnight. I feel tired. I just I wish I had more time before the exam. I'm really worried about this one. I don't feel confident in the exam next week at all. It doesn't matter, like I'm just gonna give it my best shot and if I haven't prepared properly, that's my own fault. I don't know, it'd be nice if I could just pass it though, wouldn't it? Go on. Past paper questions up. I'm on to question eight out of 10. And tomorrow's Easter Sunday. Woohoo, I'm just gonna eat chocolate to make myself feel better. I do really suck if I if I fail this exam. Because if I fail it, it's down to my lack of preparation. But no one is perfect. And maybe I made a slight error of judgment in the last month or so as to how much prep this exam needed. I do some questions and I feel a glimmer of hope because I've really smashed some of these questions. Or on some questions where I've been stumped, I've then come back to it and had a brainwave as to how to solve the question and I just feel really good about myself. I'm like, yes, I know this. And then I get questions that are like worth 10 marks and I think I can answer about all of one mark's worth of the question. And I've only got two days until the exam now. And the day after the main exam, which I'm prepping for, is the exam that's coding in R. I have had a preparation day for that exam. I did feel better after the preparation day. I haven't done any work on it since then. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh no. I'm just gonna get to bed and leave this all as a problem for future page. You are welcome, tomorrow's page, for all the revision I am leaving you. It is one day until my statistics exam. Tomorrow I jump into CS2 paper A at 8.30 in the morning, which is 
a little bit of a gross exam start time. Hopefully I'm going to be properly awake by that point. And then the following morning, Wednesday morning, is CS2 paper B. Paper A is three hours, 20 minutes long. Paper B is one hour, 50 minutes long. The marks from both get combined together to give me my total grade. And it's that total amount that's going to dictate whether I pass or fail. So it's in my best interest to do well in both papers. My task this afternoon is to minimise the holes in my knowledge and try and really focus on the parts of the course that I don't feel confident in because I know which topics I couldn't answer a question on. The good news is these are my last two exams, thank god. I feel like the start of this year has just been so much hard work. I'm quite stressed about the week ahead in general because I've got my two exams but then I have a job as well. I am on projects <laughs> which I haven't really been focusing on in the last week because I've been sitting my exams and that's expected but it just means I'm going to have a very busy Thursday Friday this week tying everything up on my projects before I go on holiday on Saturday and I need to pack. I need to make sure I've done all of my arrival covid proof of vaccination stuff there's just a lot to think about this week i feel like this r coding paper might be my complete let down as well i feel like i could manage paper a just about at this point but paper b oh my gosh there's a chance i could pass so i've got to put everything into it hello peeps i'm just having my dessert a little bit of chocolate syrup there on the fruit tasty stuff right there i've reached a point of acceptance i think with this exam tomorrow i've done what i can once i finish the paper that i'm working through now i will have done every single past paper that is on the current syllabus i've been making notes i feel tuned in i'm still home alone none of my housemates have returned yet after easter but it's quite peaceful. It's okay. It does mean I haven't seen anyone today because I just haven't left the house today because I've just been revising. <laughs> but that's cool, you know. I've got plenty of time to get out of the house and see people after exams. Towards the end of last week and at the weekend, I did end up watching all of the latest season of Bridgerton. I'm not letting myself watch any Netflix this evening or any other TV show because it's just one of those evenings when it's the night before an exam and I think stuff I read through this evening might actually make a real difference tomorrow morning. Morning everyone, you are seeing right in front of my screen, this is the picture of me as I nervously await for my exam paper to pop up as available for download. I have two minutes to go. Woohoo, let's just get this done. It's going to go quickly. It always does, there's never enough time. I was talking to my sister and she said she had a three hour exam yesterday and she left it one hour early because she'd finished it all in two hours. And I was like, wow, that must be really nice. I am definitely gonna be working for a full three hours, 20 minutes today. I am gonna sign off now though because it's only one minute till it appears and I wanna be on it to download as soon as it's available. And basically the vlogs cut off here because the exam was a little bit of a disaster. I summarise what happened in this Instagram story on the screen here. I think it was just a really, really hard paper. I did speak to some of my colleagues afterwards who'd sat the same paper and they felt similarly. I wasn't super upset, but I did go into damage control determined page mode. I really didn't want to give up. I knew I had paper B where I could pull it back. So I was really cramming in the R practice all afternoon and evening. It was a stressful 24 hours let me tell you but somehow i think i pulled out the bag because my paper b r coding paper went actually okay i never normally think that exams go well but this one it felt like it went pretty good and i don't know if it's enough to pull it back but it's enough that i'm satisfied with my exam performance i'm happy they're over i'm ready to go on holiday and just forget about work now thanks so much for watching please give the video a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel follow my instagram and i'll see you soon with another video bye everyone Thank you.